गुड मॉर्निंग मैंने मिजा लोक श्रीवास्तवा एंड वेलकम टू नेटवर्क नेट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एमेजन वेब सर्विसेज राउट फिफ्टी थ्री डी एन एस जियो लोकेशन पॉलिसी सो दैट मीन्स बेस्ड ऑन योर जियोग्राफिक लोकेशन एमेजन विल और एमेजन राउट फिफ्टी थ्री विल राउट योर request to a altogether different web server or a application server which is nearer to you so let's get started so so for this we need to log in to our console so which i am already logged in so so let's start doing the things so there so here i am so i am logged in into my account and currently i am in the mumbai region so what we are going to do we are going to create three web servers in different parts of the world so one web server i'll be creating in mumbai one web server i'll be creating in us north virginia and the third web server i will be creating say i'll be creating in sydney right so let's get started because we need to log into our console so and i will also share the slides with you to understand the concepts so let me first open the slides Here you, here we are. So, we are going to learn about the Route Fifty Three geolocation based routing policy. So, it's a small lab. So, geolocation uh, routing lets you choose the resource that serves your traffic based on your location. That means, if I am in India, the server which is nearer to India or in the India region will cater my request. And if I am in Sydney. the server which is in sydney is going to cater my my request so that i have a very good user experience so that's how it works so if there is a user which is in india it sends a query to a domain name route 53 will see the location of the user and if he is in india the request will be be forwarded to the india server and it will not it will not be going to the us server whereas in case if the us is in Oh, sorry. The user is in US. Then it is not supposed to go to the India as there will be a longer uh, distance to cover, and the user experience might be different or will not be as good. So the request will be going to the US server. So I'll be creating two web servers or three. We can do. So let's have two web servers created. One I'll create in Mumbai, and other one I'll create in North Virginia. So let's get started. so log in into the mumbai region go to the instances i'll choose amazon linux ami will choose my general purpose uh instance type here i'll i'm not worried about the az's and all the things so one instance is what i need and the other thing which you need to do is that please click on to the advanced details option which is coming at the bottom here scroll it down and here it is so i'll be using some boot scripts to uh configure my server as i don't want to do the ssh and do the job so if you are not familiar with the boot script so they are also known as user data so i'll just installing the apache here and will send so as this server is in mumbai so i will just write here h1 welcome to mumbai server right and i will just feed it to var www html index dot html after this i'll just start the service system ctl uh, here i think the service command work service stdbd start and check config stdbd on so so that the service will be available after the reboot so i'll just copy this boot script because i'll be requiring it in my us server also so i copy this on my clipboard just click on to add storage uh this 8 gb is good enough for me add the tags i can put a tag here say name i say mumbai server right security groups right so either you can create a new security group or i can choose any existing one just make sure that you 
should allow at least HTTP. And I had allowed the SSH also as I might need to do the SSH. So I select this one, review and launch. Just review it and launch it, the, bot the button which is on your right hand side bottom. Right, key pair, so I'm not worried about the key pair, but feel free to take a key pair here. So I choose an existing key, uh, key pair, say I say WordPress, so these are the keys. So keys are specific to a region, remember that. Launch the instance. View launch and then let's give it a name. I give it Mumbai server, right? So this instance is coming up. So in the meanwhile, let's go to US, North Virginia, and create one more server there. Here it is, launch the server, just using the same AMI, same instance type. Boot script I will do, just click on to the advanced detail settings there and I'll paste it. I'll just change the name, just make it to North Virginia so that we know which server we are hitting. Right? I hope this is very clear to you. Add the storage. I'm okay with 8 GB. Tags I can write, say name. I say North Virginia server, right? Just put it like this security groups again please make sure you allow at least ssh and http ssh in case you need to configure it later on if something is not working and http obviously because we are using a web server review it click on the launch click uh, choose any key here if everything is working fine i might not need the key launch the instance just check it out and give it a name it will be easier for us to remember so I give North Virginia server right give it a name that's great so in the meanwhile I just go back to the Mumbai and see if that server is running now perfect so this server is running so what I need to do now, I just need to check whether this is working or not. So I just need to copy this IP address, the public IP and paste it in my browser's URL. And so I should be able to hit the website and practically not here, but practically what you need to do, you should always use Elastic IP when configuring these kinds of things in your production server, not use the IP which is allocated to you by the DSCP as in case you need to shut down the server and start it again, the public IP will change, but not the EIP. So I'll just go and uh, check this IP address in the browser. Okay, so let's copy this once again. And make sure you don't use the DSCP, just always use the public IP. So yeah, I'm hitting or able to get the Mumbai server. You can see the message here, Mumbai server is coming up. That's great. I'll go back to my console. Let's go and check the North Virginia server. So let's check it out. Again, same copy the IP address and guys, please make sure use the elastic IP in the production. Don't use the IP allocated to you by the DSCP. So here I'm also, I'm able to hit the North Virginia server. That's great. But I am hitting by IP, right? So the next step is let's associate these two addresses with my AWS route 53 domain, which I have already purchased. So this is what we had done. I'll just go back to the slide. So we have these two servers available to us. IPs are different. And I'm if the next thing is that go to your Route 53, create a geolocation policy, point the Mumbai server to Mumbai request and the US to the US. So I'll go to my Route 53 and create a record here. 
understand this like this so i'll go back so i'll go to my ec2 dashboard search for the services here and look for route 53 here it is click on the route 53 and the C it's global it's not confined to any region so I already have a domain re registered for the labs the name is alok Srivastava dot name I had purchased it right here so uh, one zone will automatically be hosted to you or, cre or uh, created for you by the route 53 registrar click on the zone need not to touch uh, these name server re record and the SOA record. So what does these four name means? That means my domain information is available to these four servers. So in case one is not working, I still will be able to get the name resolved from the other three. That's good. That's very good. So let's do one thing now. Now let's create a record set here. This my domain name is coming up. Alok Srivastava dot name. Don't touch it. It will be a uh, a record so and change the time period to 60 seconds one minute now I go to Mumbai I just copy this Mumbai IP address from here copy this from here go to route 53 paste it remove the additional things just I need the IP address remove it and from here routing policy choose geolocation so as it is a Mumbai server I need to choose which client locate which clients he this particular IP is supposed to cater so here I choose India fair enough give it a name any name say I say India clients yeah, yeah India region anything it should be unique and click on the create button which is coming at the bottom of your screens I am creating a click button or oh, sorry the create button so once you click on the create button the, you can see the one a record is coming up here that's good now create another a record and this time I'll copy the North Virginia IP address again go back to my route 53 change the TTL value paste it here remove the unnecessary things I just need the IP address and from geolocation choose the geolocation and this IP is supposed to cater to my US clients United States yeah here it is click here choose say USA server or anything create click on the create button which might not you are you are not able to see it on the screen now these are the two record sets we have got and the geolocation is in the first one is catering to India and the second one is catering to the US okay that's great now if I go to if I go to the browser and hit my domain name I am in India so I should be able to get the queries coming from India right so let's try that right so as I've told you it might take some time so I've just taken a break for one minute maximum and now I will be connecting to when I am connecting from India I should be getting this website right this web page and when I'm connecting from US I should be getting this web page but the point is that I am in India so how am I going to do a connection to US so for that what I do I will use Nord Nord VPN so this is a very uh, interesting service and I like it so you can have your account created on NordVPN so I'll connect using the NordVPN I can connect to anywhere in the world see so they have got their servers worldwide so if I connect to Hong Kong so I will be getting my machine we will, will be getting a IP address from the Hong Kong area right and when I connect to say Israel I'll be getting IP from the Israel geolocation so let me first connect to India just log in with it it will ask you for your login name and the password if you're doing it for the first time otherwise it's good so as my login name and passwords are already feeded there so I need not to do it so let's first connect myself to India so I will be getting a IP address from a Nord VPN uh, here in India obviously so the IP will be same range 
just give it a minute this is going to be very interesting because this is how you practically see the things fine here i am connected to india now i open one more tab and i write here alok srivastava dot name wow i am getting mumbai server that's great that that mean my geo location policy is working but that's no big deal because i am also i am in india okay let's connect to us again open my nord vpn here and i choose us so, so it is something like i'm i'm saying hey nord please connect me to your us server and give me the ip from that geo location so here i am going to us it's so fast to move in a virtual world just wait a while it won't take much so if i refresh it after getting the ip address from the us so that means logically the route 53 is seeing that the request is coming from us region i hope you are getting what i'm saying let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait so it might take a while to go to us <laughs> and the weather in india is changing it's now winter is coming so we can say winter is coming game of thrones you're right so i'm connected to us now so i just uh, put it here aside for you and just do a refresh here let's do a refresh i am in north virginia see a different server is responding me as i am in north virginia so this is a real practical of how the route 53 amazon route 53 geolocation based policy works so i hope you like this video and uh, i will come back again with more videos on aws a very good uh, and a very interesting uh, like topic especially the route 53 that's it for the video thank you very much for watching and if you've got time please subscribe like do the comment thank you thank you very much bye bye godspeed